Hello YouTube, my name is Martinez. I'm pretty excited to come back with another video. Today I'm not going to talk about Pixelmeter Pro, but rather about brand new product from Pixelmeter team, which is called Photometer. I am lucky and thankful to Pixelmeter team, who granted me uh, access to Photometer, so I could test it out before official release. So, what is Photometer? Well, Photometer is dedicated picture editing software, while Pixelmeter Pro is do-everything tool, in a lot of ways, both programs are very similar, although Photometer has advanced features for photo editing. Here you can see an image of a lovely rental Fiat. First thing you notice is that the image takes full screen. In the lower part you can see a film strip of photos I opened before. On the top right corner you can see quickly accessible tools that allow you quick adjustments. So let's try ML Enhance tool. And you can see it made a few adjustments that looks pretty nice to me. Also there is a repair tool. We can try and remove the shadow. And it did pretty good job. There is a clone tool. There is a crop tool. And if I don't choose any constraint, it made sort of panoramic scenery. If I go back and choose a constraint, a vertical one, and press ML crop. So as you can see the program decided um, to move the fiat into the center of the frame and the same can be said with other constraint options. So this is how crop tool works. Now let's go to the main adjustments tool. As you can see nothing really changed from Pixelmeter Pro. It's probably a good thing because it allows you to get adjusted to the program very fast without a learning curve so every tool is familiar to you. Now I want to talk about the biggest news in my opinion, which is uh, masking tools, automated masking tools. So if I press image layer, I can press a plus sign and you can see the program offers to select subjects, select sky, select background and uh, other tools. So let's select subject. It detected the Fiat, the car, and I can do adjustments to specifically to this car. Now I can uh, choose the sky. Here you can see the sky mask. So let's do something with that. And also let's see what program will do if I choose select background. So Photometer applied the mask uh, in the whole frame apart from the car. And let's say uh, I want to make adjustments to everything apart from the sky. So what I'm going to do is to go to background and mask, press those three dots and press subtract. Then I choose select sky. Now at this point you can see that I can adjust the landscape image without adjusting the sky and the car. So there are presets uh, that are familiar from Pixelmator Pro. Again, nothing really new here. And you can make adjustments to the whole frame or to masked uh, parts of the image. So now I will give you a few shortcuts. If you want to add presets a strip, so you just press Option plus P. And now you can see your other images. And if you don't want to see images either, you want a full screen experience, you just press Option plus S. Now if you really want to enjoy your image in the full screen, you just hide the uh, panel. Also, if you swipe left or right, you will go through other images. The other functions I should mention are match colors function, which is which was available in Pixelmator Pro as well as super resolution, denoise. Uh, for some reason there is no debanding, but maybe it will come in the near future. Also, Photometer offers workflow feature, uh, which allows you to add batch images, a lot of images using automated tools. You can choose, let's say, cropping tool. You would have your all images auto cropped by the software itself. What's more, Photometer is built uh, for all systems. That means including Mac, iPhone and iPad. So you have an option to uh, edit uh, one image in, on three devices, uh, on three systems. So which program you should choose, Pixelmeter Pro or Photometer? Well, if you are into graphics design and photo editing, you should definitely go for Pixelmeter Pro since it's dedicated uh, software to do it and uh, you can add text, create posters, create textures, uh, play with the brushes and also you can uh, edit photos in a very similar way as here in Photometer. However, if you are not into 
all those things like uh, graphic design, uh, I think Photometer Pro is the way to go. First of all, I think it has a huge benefit of having automated tools like uh, sky selection, background selection, subject selection, and I believe there will be even more automated masks. And also since it's dedicated software to work on uh, three systems, it means you can uh, edit images on the go. For now, Photometer Pro doesn't allow you to edit video, but it's on the roadmap. I record this video just a day before official launch, so I can't say anything about prices, but probably now when you're watching this video, official announcement is done and you are able to see what the price of Photometer Pro is. So this is it guys, uh, I hope this short overview was uh, useful for you. Thanks for watching this video and hope to see you next one.